Wolf Den Wrestling Podcast episode number 16. We're going to get right into it with our rumor roundup. Um, Finn Balor versus Brock Lesnar is supposed to be on the books at Great Balls of Fire. But again, this is just a rumor, so it's not confirmed. But we will get into more of who will be fighting for the title a little bit later in this video. Um, Roman Reigns versus Bray Wyatt. It's supposed to be a short feud because of Strowman's injury. Um, now, I don't know if this is actually going to happen or not. Because of as of right now, it seems as if Finn Balor is feuding with Bray Wyatt. But, I mean, I don't know. It could have switched because of Strowman's injury. But I personally think that it would be okay. I mean, I don't... I think that they feuded before, so it would be okay, I mean. Okay, number three. Nakamura to get a title match very soon. Now, this one is kind of bittersweet because I am a fan of Nakamura, but he hasn't even really had his first televised match on the main roster yet. It's supposed to be happening at Backlash against Dolph Ziggler. Now, I don't know how fast he's going to be supposed to be getting this title shot, but if he, they're pretty much planning him to be pushed like that, I don't think it's really fair. But then again, Nakamura is a fantastic athlete, and I do think that um, he would be a future champion no matter what. All right, number four, Rusev and Lana to debut on SmackDown soon separately. Now, I don't understand why they chose to separate them. Maybe it's because Lana's going to step into more of a wrestling um, persona. But that's what I'm guessing. But personally, I can't wait to see them back. I mean, they're great, great wrestlers. And it's going to be interesting to see what Lana brings to the table. Number six, Marty Bell and Jade, former Impact Wrestling stars, from the dollhouse are supposed to be in the women's tournament now again these are rumors so they're not confirmed but me personally i would love to see both of these women in the women's tournament adam cole coming to the wwe adam cole was recently kicked out of the bullet club and it's been some questions on whether or not he is going to nxt me personally i would love to see adam cole come to nxt Number eight, Eva Marie not to be on Total Divas anymore. Now, again, this is a rumor, so it's not confirmed. But the way that the season finale of Total Divas ended, it seems as if Eva might not be returning to uh, Total Divas anymore. But it's just a rumor, so who knows whether or not she is or if she isn't. But me personally, I really... Didn't really watch Total Divas for her to begin it, to be honest with you. But some of you guys may have, so I just wanted to let you guys know. Number nine, Braun Strowman versus Brock Lesnar planned for SummerSlam. So I don't know if it's going to be for the title or not, but it's supposed to be happening at SummerSlam according to the rumors. I think it's going to be a great match. I don't know who's going to win, but... It's going to be interesting. And number 10, the last piece of rumor roundup we have for you in this video is New Day supposed to be debuting on SmackDown sometime soon, maybe in June. So I don't understand why they're keeping New Day out for so long. I do believe that one of them might have an injury. I think that might be why, but... That's not confirmed at all, but I can tell you this, that it's going to be okay when they do decide to come to SmackDown and see what they bring to the table. And actually, that was not the piece, the last piece of Rumor Roundup I have for you guys. Um, the next one I have for you actually is from NXT, Aleister Black is supposed to be caught up to the main roster very soon because WWE officials are very, very impressed with him. Me, personally, I agree. I think that he will be great on the main roster. I think he's actually ready now. 
Now let's move on to our news for this video. This has actually been confirmed. Uh, so, Brie Bella and Dan O'Brien had their baby finally. And they named it Birdie. They had her on May 9th. Um, Braun Strowman is injured, and he will be out for at least two months, so that's kind of, we hinted at that earlier. Uh, Nikki Bella working on a book, so it's going to be interesting to see, um, what Nikki book, Nikki's book will be about, but it's definitely going to be interesting, I can tell you that. Number four, Jim Ross to be doing commentating for the upcoming women's tournament. Personally, I think that's great. I mean, I love to see Jim Ross come back as a commentator anytime. So it's going to be interesting to see what he brings to the table on the commentating table for the women's tournament. Number five, John Cena is supposed to be returning soon because he is being rushed to return because of WWE ticket sales. Now, this one I don't really quite understand, but I heard that he's supposed to be coming back I believe in June or July because of WWE ticket sales. I don't understand the whole thing with that, but I mean, nevertheless, it's okay to see Cena back, in my opinion. Number six, WWE Universal title number contenders to be named very soon, possibly even tonight on Monday Night Raw or next week or whenever, but I heard that it's supposed to be named very, very soon. And the last piece of news I have for you for this video is WWE UK special is supposed to be happening this Friday on the WWE Network, which is May 19th. So, it's going to be interesting what that's all about, but I'm being told that Nigel McGuinness and Jim Ross will be the commentating people for that special. And it's going to be great to see Jim Ross and Nigel McGuinness together and commentating I think that it's going to be fantastic now last week I started the trivia question and um, you guys will be getting your answer right now and the trivia question was the first ever United States champion in the WWE was who and the answer is Harley Race now, before we get into our Spotlight Wrestlers, we're going to talk about the trivia question for episode number 17. Um, the trivia question is, the longest women's championship reign lasted 10,170 days, and but who did it belong to? If you guys know the answer, please comment on the comment section below, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube. I would love to see if you guys know the answer. Um... And you guys will get the confirmed answer back in episode number 17. So make sure you guys watch that as well. Have a great day and peace before I forget. Anyways, let's get into our spotlight wrestlers real quick and then we'll end this out. Spotlight wrestler from Raw last week goes to Roman Reigns. Because he pretty much viciously attacked Braun Strowman. Even though Braun Strowman was... Kind of injured already. Smackdown goes to Nakamura, who pretty much showed Dolph what he was all about. 205 goes to Brian Kendrick, who won his match against Akira Tozawa. Oh, actually, no. I believe he lost, but then he attacked Akira Tozawa. NXT goes to two people who I was very impressed in, which was the main event of NXT last week. And it was Hideo Itami versus Roderick Strong for the number one contendership for the NXT World Heavyweight Championship. And we'll be fighting Bobby Roode at the next NXT TakeOver in Chicago. But the winner came out to be Hideo Itami. However, both of these gentlemen very, very much impressed me in this match. It was pretty much a back and forth match. And I personally think it would be a great candidate for the match of the year for 2017. For NXT. And TNA or Impact Wrestling. Depending on what you want to call it. Goes to Alberto El Patron. Who won the Global Force title against. Magnus or Nick Aldis. Whatever you want to call him. 
Now, again, if you didn't hear me earlier, have a great day and peace. And I'll see you guys all next week for Wolf Den Wrestling Podcast, episode number 70, where you get the answer to the trivia question. The longest women's championship reign lasted 10,170 days, but who did it belong to? Again, if you know the answer, please comment in the comment section below, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook. And if you are on YouTube or Facebook, make sure you hit that like button. And if you are on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button just as well. It means a lot to me. And make sure you hit that notification button so you get all the videos and you never miss one. Have a great day and peace for the third time now.